Hello, ladies. Uh, I'm just kidding. Hello, ladies and metal chan, and welcome to another uncommon tank review. And today we are going to be looking at uh, something slightly different than I usually cover. This is the French Tier 5 heavy tank, the BDR. In my opinion, it is the best Tier 5 heavy tank. It is slightly uh, pretty fast. It uh, has decent, not very good armor though. It's dumb is alright, I mean you can bounce tier 3s and 4s more, more or less reliably. You have a huge weak spot on the turret, but people in these tiers are kinda clueless so you can easily abuse them and uh, and just rape. This thing is amazing. The gun, this gun is really, really, really good. I mean, the best tier 5 gun by, by no means. There's nothing better than this gun in tier 5. Not even on tank destroyers, I'm pretty sure. 135 penetration, 240 damage with reload of around 7.5 seconds with everything pinked out. I mean, everything like coffee, vents, brush knives and shit like that. So yeah, this tank has really good DPM, really high alpha and it's a heavy tank. So you can really carry with this thing really, really hard. It is really good. It... Um, it is the most popular money maker, at least it used to be the most popular money maker for people who doesn't have, that didn't have premium tanks, and it fills the role perfectly because this kind of an alpha is really good, and tier five gets a lot of bonuses usually, in, especially in the weekends, like tier five weekends. There's uh, like 30%, 50% more credits, and this thing can make some some money. So yeah, this is a really really strong tank. Uh, it is probably one of the better ones in French French Heavy 3, in fact. Well, the 5100 is as good as this. Well, maybe a bit better. And the RL44 is not bad, but the heavier autoloaders get way more trickier to play and, and way more difficult to play than this. This is really strong for its tier. So yeah, if you're looking for a strong tier 5 heavy tank, and you don't want to stick with your KV-1 and shit like that, then this is the one you want. And I still have the shitty replay bug where the outlines are not displayed properly. As you see, I'm aiming at him, but the outlines aren't uh, shown properly, so sorry for that. I should have reinstalled my game, but I'm too lazy for that. I'm too lazy to put out videos. As you can see, I haven't put a video up in a week or so, but you guys aren't weren't lazy. Holy shit, more than 2k subscribers already. I think last time I posted the video I had like 1.3k or something like that, so yeah. Almost double the channel growth in a week. So yeah, that's quite kind of crazy. And if you are thinking, why the fuck would I be playing BDR? It was because of the weekend special, the 7 day premium, 1 million credit one. And you had to get 20 kills in uh, some tier 5s, like the BDR, T49 and M4. And yeah, this is why I'm playing it. And yeah, so I'm kind of looking for kills at this point. I really didn't care if we win or lose. I'm just here for the kills. And this was pretty good game considering. So yeah, if you are one of those player people who don't have a premium account, don't have a good premium tanks, then this is the tank you may want to look into, because it is really strong and it makes really good credits. And uh, and what? And if you have a tank like that, you probably want a pretty good crew as well for it. So for crew skills. Um, the tank has surprisingly good aiming time and everything, so the, it really doesn't need anything. I mean, six cents repairs for a heavy tank is nice. Uh, the view range is crap, however, so maybe uh, recon and situational awareness can help you, but that's only after some other skills like repairs, uh, smooth ride, always nice, snapshot, all that nice stuff. For equipment, uh, Rammer, of course, ventilation, and I went for the coated optics. I mean, optics is always nice. And yeah, I'm just gathering my patrol duty. <laughs> Should not have let him shot me twice there, but oh well. Shit happens. But yeah, basically, what I did here is instead of going to the city, even though I saw there's nobody there, but it would be kind of suicidal to go there alone. So I decided just to spot for my lemming train and let them kill the guys who are on this flank and then advance. Well, let them kill. I have five kills already, so. <laughs> well, however, my plan was to do exactly what I just did to kill the. Uh, free up our living train so they can uh, they can move up and do something else, and. Uh, and, yeah, 
basically it turned out exactly like that. But this game is far from over because the enemy still has two tier 5 heavy tanks and they're both in full health. And the enemy BDR, as you can see, is a really good, well, decent player, I guess. And yeah, both of our teams were utter shit, but. Well, it, uh, both of our teams actually were utter shit, they were kind of equal. <laughs> in being shit, of course. And now I'm just going back to kill the Panzer 3 4 because I know if you don't do it yourself, nobody else will do it. So. I am up for it. I'm pretty sure that I'm no. Well, maybe I'm not. No, I'm probably not the one spotting him. But I'm the only one who can hit him. So yeah, another kill, six kills. I'm happy with that. And in before I make a huge mistake that almost cost us the game. I should not have done this. Well, basically, what I, what I, we have no clue. I know that our cap is being reset and they have shots on our cap, and then they are there they are. And now I should have and into cover. I knew that I would be get, uh, get spotted and never do this. I'm in the middle of the open with no cover. I should have hugged that dead tank if I think of it now. I'm looking at the BDR and I think he hasn't spotted me but he, now he spotted me. She drove backwards and I... this was a really bad play for me. This was ac actually really really bad play and this is still a really bad play. I should have focused the T1 heavy. I know that I reload faster than the other BDR so I'm just gonna try to avoid these shots now and he missed so I have another shot. But I, as you see this is a horrible play for me. Middle in the open not even trying to get into cover and not even focusing fire. I get a lot of <laughs> lucky bounces and this was a shot on the move but I went into the T1 heavy. If it would have went into the BDR I might have done this but this was unlucky. This was fucking unlucky. I could have killed him as well. I could have had him, but th then again, I didn't deserve that kill because of uh, how bad I played at the end. Never do that. Never sit in the middle of the open, and it almost causes us the game. Luckily, these apes will be able to kill the last BDR, and we'll be fine. So yeah, the BDR, really, really strong tank for tier five. One of the better tier fives. If you want a tier five that's really strong in your garage with a really punchy and nice gun, then this is it. This tank can really perform even in tier seven games because 135 penetration might seem like really bad, but if you use it right, it's enough. So yeah, top gun, patrol duty, sniper with a heavy tank. Why not? Uh. So yeah, uh, for the new subscribers that I have shit done of now, uh, check out my channel if you're looking for a specific tank, especially tier 10s, I have a lot of them done already, so if you're looking for some of that, check out my channel page, I've sorted the videos out in quite a little playlist, so uh, it makes you easier to find the things you're looking for. I hope you enjoy this one, and I will see you on the next one.